Got it together. There we go. That's what we want to see. Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave. And right now I want to share with you folks some of the easiest money ever to be made in the lapidary industry. And that is live social media geode slicing. Back in the day when I didn't have a lot of tools and had a hard time making money doing my lapidary work, I would buy a lot of geodes, go on Facebook and Instagram, do live videos, and what I would do is offer geodes, sometimes between three to five dollars depending on the material, and I would slice them for free. Then they would pay shipping and it was a lot of fun. A lot of folks really enjoyed it. People could have their kids come in and pick out which geo they wanted me to slice, and I would do it right then and there. Sometimes I would end up with some fantastic pieces for the folks after slicing. I would offer to polish the pieces for another couple bucks, maybe two to five more dollars, depending. And it was a lot of fun. It was really interactive. Sometimes I would offer to sell little geode stands. I would charge another two or three dollars for the stand. I made them myself. They take about a minute, sometimes a minute and a half, depending on the material. And it was a lot of fun. So I'm going to show you folks how I go about doing it. What I usually do is share the live videos to larger groups on Facebook. At least when I first started, I would use Facebook. Groups such as All About the Rocks, which is the biggest. I believe it's about 55,000 strong, and a lot of folks watch those live videos. All of these geodes you see here, I got from Bluebird Bead Company out of Wisconsin. I don't have their card on hand, but I'll put all the information up on the screen and all that good stuff. I bought all of these geodes, including these over here that I already sliced. These over here for $10, making each geode well under a dollar where there's a lot of money to be made. Not all of these geodes are winners, but that's kind of the fun when slicing these bad little girls. Most of which had some kind of play inside. Some kind of crystallinis. But some would just be solid agates. Still, after they're polished up, well worth the couple bucks that I charge for slicing the geodes. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's easy. Um, this year at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, I bought a lot of these septarian nodules from Morocco. I think I got about a pound or two for two or three bucks from this gentleman, C. Spar. At the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, this gentleman vends at the Howard Johnson Show. Ask for Charlie Feldspar. Everybody knows him. He's been vending there for quite a while now. Has some amazing deals, amazing crystals. And I bought these septarian nodules from him. A couple bucks for over a pound. These are a lot of fun to slice live. Real easy to slice. Real easy money. Anyway, we're going to go slice a couple of these together. I'm going to slice a couple of these septarian nodules together. Then I'm going to show you folks how I make these stands really quick out of scrap wood from around our shop. This particular stand is actually leftover wood from a neck of a guitar that we were making here at In the Kesh Woodworks. Really cool. Gives them a nice little place to sit. Sometimes if they ask, I'll have some extra wood and I will write the location of the material that the geode or nodule, whatever I'm slicing comes from. All right, let's do it. All right, folks, I got six or seven geodes floating in the water over here. I always keep a tray of water to wash off the geode or the whatever material I'm cutting to show the folks because sometimes the water gets really muddy on my cheap saws. 
yeah, and I want them to know what they just got. Got a few different sizes, and my one and only gray little geode from this little $10 bundle. Alrighty. I'll be using my cheap little rock rascal here. Love my little rock rascal. Let's start with a couple geodes. it off in the water and let's take a look pretty cute those little brown things are not dirt it's some kind of growth I'm not a hundred percent sure really nice these would look really good on a stand already let's cut another one Rinse her off. And take a look together. Oh, not too many crystallinis, a lot of agate. Still really cute. On some of these that have a lot of agate like this, I can sometimes slice the outsides, get two more cuts, and then have two pieces of the agate slices front and back, which make really good earrings. When it's big enough on these types of pieces, sometimes I'll offer it as a free service. When I'm cutting live, some folks really like it. I made a great pair of earrings out of it, and I think I have a couple pieces at my studio waiting to be made into earrings that were pretty agate like these pieces here. All right, let's slice one more and then do some nodules. I'm not really good at reading the geodes, and the growths inside. I could definitely get better at it, but sometimes I'm lucky and there's a hole and I can see inside, but not on this one. I'll try to just do it evenly. When I go live, I usually do use a thinner blade. But this is what I'm working with right now. All right, let's take a look together. Nada. Not too bad, not too good. Still really cute. I like this orange growth. It's the same stuff as the brown stuff, just slightly different variation in color. I could slice this again. There might be some crystallinis in there, but oh well. Let's do a septarian nodule together. These came from Morocco. Very affordable. A couple bucks for over a pound. Love this stuff. I'm going to buy a couple dozen pounds this year at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. rinse it off and take a look together almost all of these are winners they cost a little bit more but they're almost always super stunning it's kind of muddy some beautiful reds up here at the top cute looking very cool Definitely would be worth a couple bucks. Would look fantastic on a stand. Very, very, very cool. 
Let's do another Septarian nodule and then a couple more geodes. her off and then a look together you ready very super cool check out that book match that would look fantastic on a stand with the location perhaps the mine or the area that it's harvested stunning I love these guys alrighty let's do the last three of these little geodes here before we wrap up this video. I'm saving the gray one for last. Together. Nada. Well, beautiful agate, a little bit of growth, but not the best they can be. I really love cracking open one like this that I cut earlier today and showing all the beautiful crystallinis and wonders inside of the geodes, but they all can't be winners. And they're very affordable, so it's real easy to get enough to get a good one. All right, two more pieces left, folks. Let's wash it off and take a look at it together. There we go, that's what we wanna see. Beautiful crystallinis, all kinds of weird, crusty, fuzzy growths. This is a winner. Better than a scratch off, and it lasts longer too. Let's do one more. The gray one. I'm excited. This blade's not as thin as I'd like, and I didn't get this one as centered as I'd like. But it's still gonna be beautiful nonetheless. Let's take a look together. Oh yeah. A little tough to tell when it's wet, but there's a lot of little crystallinis in there. Real beautiful pieces. This one I knew was a winner.
All right, folks, and that's it. I showed you how I slice the geodes. Some folks want me to polish it up in front of them, or I can polish it off camera before I mail it to them. And I showed you how I make these cute little stands. Real quick, I make a bunch of these before I go live. I hope this encourages you folks to go buy some easy slicing material and to do some live shows, pretty much like performances. They're a lot of fun to watch, even for folks who can't afford to buy anything from you right away. Again, the geodes come from Blue Bead Trading Company, LLC, in Wisconsin, Stevens Lake, Wisconsin. And these nodules are from uh, C-Spar, Charlie Feldspar. I got them during the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, but feel free to give these folks a call. Tell them Lapidary Dave sent you. All of the ones that I don't use right away or that don't really sell right away when I'm going live and slicing, I just wrap up with a rubber band. I get the rubber bands off of the back of my black nitrile gloves. And I wrap them up and they don't sell right away. I might sell a little bundle at a trade show or something, maybe a dollar each or less. Either way, making many times more than I paid. It's a lot of fun. It'll help you make money to pay off or to buy new gear. I know it really helped for me. And it also helps you to build a clientele on social media and such. Anyway, folks, this is Lapidary Dave. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, love, subscribe, all that goodness.